Uh, how does the word honor, as you use it, uh, relate to character and integrity and ethics? You know, I think honor, think of dishonor. What does dishonor mean? Well, dishonor means that you aren't uh, meeting some standard that is approved and expected. It could be in your family, what dishonoring to your parents, in your community, in your organization, uh, just to the culture around us. And so having an understanding of what things you expect to do, and for instance, in an organization, most organizations have a culture and there are certain values that you adhere to and rules and regulations, even in corporate world, but especially in the military. And so when you don't do those, when you don't keep your responsibility and do those, when you don't do your duty, okay, uh, when you do things that you would not want on the headlines of the newspaper. That was a big thing growing up. We learned that don't do anything you don't want mom and daddy to see in the headlines of the newspaper because that would be dishonorable. It would dishonor the family. And for me growing up, I grew up in a very strong religious home, strong Christian home. Faith was very important to me. And so being the person that we kind of pretended to be was a battle, but I thought it was very important. I wanted to honor my parents, mm. you know? That was very important to me. I did not want to bring dishonor to them. So I, I told the truth. I never cheated in school. I did the, tried to do my best to do the right thing. Now, was I lazy sometimes? Yes. <laughs> I didn't do my homework. That was a little bit dishonorable, but I felt like that one was uh, within my realm. If I wanted to accept the accountability of bad grade, and I did consciously do that sometimes and not do all my homework because it was just at that point, it didn't matter. Uh, after my POW experience, it did matter, as I mentioned earlier in that story. So I think it's the, it's a more encompassing of what is acceptable in your culture, in your corporation, in your organization, and in your family, in your community. What is acceptable as being uh, okay ethically, character-wise, morality-wise, and so on. And but that has a that's a broad range, broad range. And each one of us has to clarify that for themselves because you don't know for sure what you stand for if you don't clarify it. And that's going to be a battle to carry that out, though.